I'm the realest one that's rapping. Oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always rapping. Oh my God. What up, guys? Welcome back to NBD Vlogs. Today, we're gonna be going a little bit off the last video, and we're gonna be talking about what did I actually do while I was not marching last school year and I'm trying to block the light for you guys until I can uh, pull it up and turn it down some or change the color but uh yeah those of you guys that are wondering that so I wasn't in a marching band but I was in no I wasn't in a marching band but I was in marching band so basically what I did for that school year okay I need a brighter color <laughs> okay good enough not really but what I did that school year instead of being in marching band and marching on the field like I wanted to I was a band manager last year. And you guys might be like, oh, you were a band manager, you were able to tell people what to do. That's not how band managers work. Those of you guys that don't know, band managers are the people that help move props and everything on and off the field. And also, like the keyboards, and, or not the, well, yes, they help move the pit equipment and the keyboard, uh, xylophones, speakers everything basically that isn't people band managers moving onto the field and I actually didn't start doing that until a couple games in because at first the band teacher told me he didn't want me to do it because he wasn't sure how it would turn out uh, since the doctor originally told me don't even be in marching band for that year but then, it turned out that the band managers he did have started to, you know, not show up to games. And he asked me, he's like, Hey, where have you been? I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, you, you said you were going to help be a band manager and everything. I'm like, yeah, but you, I thought you said that you didn't want to risk me doing that because the doctor told me not even to be a marching band. He's like... Well, we're going to risk it now. <laughs> and so starting that Friday, I ended up being a band manager, going to the games and festivals with them. And not going to lie, there was a few ga games and festivals after I started that I did end up missing because I couldn't make it or I had to work. I don't remember what the reasons were. But, and also, yeah, but then also, but the ones that I did go to, I, I had fun. I wish that I was on the field marching with the other 180 people, but I had fun just being able to be there and help out. And quite honestly, over here on this computer screen down that you see it right there. You can only see a little bit of it. I actually have up one of our one of our shows from the, that most recent year. And All right, guys. So I know this camera quality is a lot worse than the camera quality you guys are seeing. I'm actually recording this on the um, camera on the computer, but I did just want to bring up a few things really quick that I noticed when I'm editing this. So first off. When I said I was a, I was a band manager and I said it like that, it wasn't because it's a bad thing. It's just me personally, I would have preferred to be able to mark. And then also with me saying that the band teacher said we're going to risk it anyway, or we're going to risk it now or whatever, that it was mainly 
me and him talking, and I'd ask him like every couple or every week, see if he changed his mind. And he finally decided that he was going to let me do it because he noticed how bad I really wanted to do it. And he also knew how bad he needed somebody else there to do it. So, that's that. And quite honestly, I, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't change how last year it turned out. Well, at least with marching. There's a lot of other things not about in this video. But, I wouldn't change how Marching Band last year turned out. I enjoyed the show. I enjoyed getting to watch it. I enjoyed getting to help with it. And, I guess you guys can go back to the uh, video clip now. Or the, the show main that we video performed now. on Homecoming Night. And, I, I was a band manager that night. And, I'm pretty certain that I did actually Actually, I don't know if I went to that one or not. I can't remember for sure. And me looking down at the sideline, I don't see myself, so I don't think I did go to that one. But, the, like I was saying, the games and festivals I did go to, I had fun, and I was just happy to be there and help. Now, with this coming up year, I plan on being able to march, but if something happens to where I can't march... I'm going to see if I can be a band manager again. And going along with uh, what I said a little bit ago about how some band managers decided they were just going to stop showing up to games. And I had to get, or I had to start showing up even though originally I was told by I can't. By the band teacher. He decided he was going to start letting me show up. And... It got to the very last game of the year. You guys seen it, that show on this channel. I have showed you that show on this channel. Because I was on the sideline, I was recording it, and I was having the time of my life. So it was amazing. Best show that I've seen from our marching band since I've been a part of it. And since even before I was a part of it. That is the best show I've seen from our marching band. And I know we're only going to get better, but we need the practice to be able to do that. Yeah, I was on the sideline recording, and those of you guys that did watch that video, you noticed that Austin was also on the sideline. Those of you guys that didn't know, Austin was in alternative school for a little bit for something that he didn't even do. And... He came up to the high school the same day that I originally asked to be a band manager, and he asked if he could be one. And Mr. Funderburg told him no because he was in alternative school. And then the last game, I was the only band manager that showed up. And I went and found Mr. Funderburg, and I'm like, hey, can I, can I call somebody to come help me be a band manager? Because there's since I'm the only one here, he's like, do they go to this school? I'm like, they do. He's like, do I know who they are? I'm like, you you do. He's like, who is it? And I told him that it was Austin. He's like, you know what? Yeah, just call him and have him get up here. The game's starting soon. So I ran outside and I called Austin. And I'm like, hey, hurry up and get here. He said you could be a band manager tonight. And... Keep in mind, this was the last game. He's been wanting to be a band manager the entire year. And he couldn't start being one until the last game because nobody else was there besides me. And I'm pretty sure Austin had fun that night too because he was able to help out and everything. And it was a pretty great show. And I honestly, like I said, I wish I could have marched the show. I had the music for the show and everything. I'm pretty sure it's still in my binder over there, but couldn't march it or anything. And now it's just getting to the time that 
marching season starts up again soon. And me and Austin are both wanting to actually march this year since neither one of us could last year. And we're going to do what we can. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to or if you're bored. Or even leave a dislike if you want to. And see you guys in the next video. And always remember, never back down. Peace.